who's interested in the truth. I see the wheels turning in your head. Ah, fellow seeker of justice. Yeah, I know who you are. You're that deputy that's been stirring the Peggy's globalist pot. Everything about this cult stinks, and you know I'm right. Say it. Say it at the same time as me. Go, we are slaves to the government. Good enough. Mind control. That's right, partner. It's been their plan all along. You know it, I know. And you want to know how they're doing it? It's the food. Well, not anymore. You and me are gonna fuck the government. Sideways. Name Zip Kupka. I'll explain on the way. Come on. Get in. I'll drive. It's not coming to an end like the cult says. That's a demonically driven government ploy of a scare tactic to pull our attention away from what's really happening. This place is ground zero for government fuckery. Baby parts, chemtrails, weather manipulation, pesticides, genetically modified this, that, and the other. I did some digging around the stockyard of the place and found barrels full of that brain dumping stuff. You know what I'm talking about. It's bliss. They're feeding it to the animals and we're eating. Chemicals of conformity. And what we need to do is destroy the tools that are indoctrinating us. By we, I mean you. I ain't got a bond with those animals. I can't bring myself to put them down. That's right, deputy. I'm talking euthanization. It's the only way. Make sure you get them all. It's for the rest of you.
I'm gonna booby trap the place. Their reinforcements will be met with the fire of God. If the demons come back here, they'll be blown sky high. These should do it. They can forget harming innocent, defenseless animals. Never again! that died here today paid the ultimate price for our liberty. They are heroes and patriots. We will honor their sacrifice because history tells us that every great victory begins with tragedy. That's right. It's time to hit paper. And where's that, you wonder? The old gold mine. That's where the government's getting the funding for this whole operation. <laughs> yeah, you thought it was closed. <laughs> That's what the government told us. Who the fuck trusts the government? I'm telling you, it's all connected. They're sitting on ten times Fort Knox down there. We're gonna bring this whole globalist empire down and give America back to the people. Those demons are always talking about a collapse. Let's give them one. Take these thermite charges. They have the same specs as the ones that brought down Tower 7. Stick them on all the gold you see. Kick the tires and fight the liars, baby. Woo! <laughs> what? You waiting for me? <laughs> uh, hell, I'm retiring. You saw what just happened. That shit was real fucked up.
Heads up, we got live bombs in here. Spread out and defuse them before this whole place blows. Hurry! Oh, <laughs> 
I think you're in the clear. Now tighten your butthole and bear witness to the sights and sounds of true unadulterated justice! Hold still. It's supposed to say wrath, not rat. Sin must be exposed so it may be absolved if we hide our sin. We hide ourselves. You will not hide any longer. Your true self will spill out on this floor for all to see. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> if Muhammad won't come to the mountain, then bring the mountain to Muhammad. Let's begin! Make your atonement easier. Our devoted. We are gathered here to bear witness. for their sins. To those willing to atone for their sins. Will you, Nick Rye, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? Will you, Nick Rye, oh, fuck, fuck that. <clears throat> no. I never given in to that psychopath. There it is. Greed. Always thinking of yourself. <laughs> Is 
the power of yes! The power to take away your sins! The power to set you free. Place your hand upon the word of Joseph. Will you, deputy, place your hand upon the word of Joseph? And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. And renounce your sins and admit your transgressions. Say yes. It's just one word.
Nick. I'm not letting that motherfucker get away with this. I can fly if you need. Just say the word. Let's get this son of a bitch. Nick Rye. Have you already forgotten what I told you? Fuck you. You're a goddamn demon and we're gonna send you straight back to hell. You hear me? You're a dead man. My, my, my. How contagious wrath can be. I'll just have to kill you both. Never stop to think about that. Everyone thinks he's crazy, but he's not. Look around you. This world is on the brink. You can feel it in your bones. Look at the headlines. <laughs> Look who's in charge. <coughs> you want this key? Because you think you're saving people, but they are already safe. We had a plan. You don't understand. You don't believe. You don't care! <laughs> Maybe.
may God have mercy on your soul.
started scrambling around. All the doors started closing, locking us inside. I, I, I thought I was gonna be down here forever. All, all because of him. Him. That fucking... Piece of shit! He would come down here and he would just stand there and watch. We were begging for mercy and he would just fucking watch. Gotta find a way to 
track that one.
Warning. Proceed to the nearest exit in a calm and orderly fashion. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> I knew he saved you for a reason. Hey! You gave us something back we thought we'd never have again. Hope. Whatever happens next, we're with you. Hey. <laughs> that was a hell of a job, Brooke. The way I see it, you're the one in charge now. And if you ever need anything, you just let me know. A seal has been opened. My brother John was loved by few. Feared by many. Misunderstood by all. Except me. John was not born a monster. He was just a child when our family was torn apart. He was loving, kind, full of joy. He was easily preyed upon. John was not perfect. And sometimes he was not even good. But he was my brother. And those responsible for his death will be punished. I promise you that. But this county ain't free yet. 
Not with Jacob and Faith still standing. Work's far from over. Touch out.